Hey guys, Lemon Gaming here, and in today's video, I'm going to be going over how to install BSIware on your DSi in 2018 after the DSi shop removal. So this is a method for people that don't have custom firmware and don't want to get custom firmware. For whatever reason, like me, I can't get custom firmware because it never actually succeeds in getting. So I've resorted to this method uh, that is very hard to find for some reason. Um, so... Let's go ahead and go over it. It's quite a few steps, but you'll get it eventually. So first of all, the things you're gonna need are, um, go to this link in the description. It has a bunch of DSiWare downloads that I'd highly recommend uh, checking out because it'll make it easier. The process is bunch a lot easier. Um, the DSiWare backup template. Um, so this is um, mainly for people who wanna use a uh, YugoPwn to um, install the assignware, but um, yeah, that's for people who want to use YugoPwn, and it'll boot directly um, to something. I don't know what it's booting to, but um, what I'm using, I'm using TWLNF, which is um, a NAND thing. I don't know, it's a NAND thing, um, but um, let me show you guys what it is. I'll leave this in the description as well. Alright, so it's right here, TWLNF, it's, um, so you'll set this as boot.nds when you're using the exploit, so you'll go ahead and download it and drag this to the root of your SD card, and rename it to boot.nds, and, uh, then it'll boot to it, it's pretty easy, you'll need to have, like, basic knowledge on DSi exploits, um, you're also going to need, um, CTR tool, CTR tool, which will extract the CIA and give you this bad boy dot app, which can be read by the DSI and installed. Um, so the reason I'm not screen recording is because I'm going to also be recording DSI and I don't really want to edit today. Um, because that would take a while and I want to get this video out as quick as possible. Um, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, so... Um, the DSi backup template, it came from a uh, website that doesn't exist anymore. Their GitHub still exists, so you can still download it from there, uh, but I'll just leave the, uh, thing in the description. So, uh, rename this to whatever you want. I'm gonna rename it to WarioWare Snap, WarioWare Snaps, there we go content and data, and uh, obviously this is going to be empty, and uh, if you go over to, to data, there's going to be a public SAV, and uh, keep that there, do not change that, and uh, yeah, so, you also have DSi SRL extract, which I don't, I don't even understand, uh, you only need payload.dat, private, boot.nds, you only need all these, um, all these, if you're um, using YugoPone. If you're not using YugoPone, don't worry about it. All you need is probably this boot.nds, but I haven't even, I don't even know what this boot.nds is. I'm assuming it's TWL enough, but um, I'm not sure. Um, secondly, go ahead and I'm gonna delete this quick. Go ahead and go over to your download of whatever you downloaded from that website. I used Warrior War Snapped. And um, I'm gonna back up here, drag it over to CTR tool, and rename it to dsiware.cia. And I already read it, I already got .cia, so. Um, this title.tmd will not be here. This is for later on in the video, but, um, you're gonna click extract.bat. It's gonna run a bunch of random stuff. Then, um, go ahead and do that. Uh, this is the one that it looked like before, but you don't need this because it's zero kilobytes. So go and delete that. And rename this to 000.app. And, uh, yeah, at this point, you'll still not have this title.tmd, but, um, that's what we're getting into now, is how to obtain the title.tmd. So, um, in the description, I will also leave a... If I can find it, here it is. Okay. 
I will also leave. Let me find it. Hang on. TMDs. Here it is. TMDs. I'll leave this in the description. It's at TMDs.7z. And, um, stupid WinRAR. I'm not paying for you. I feel bad for the people that pay for WinRAR. Um, let's go ahead and it'll come up with a bunch of numbers, a bunch of different number files that there's like endless amounts of. Oh, well, these are all DSI word files, so I'd highly recommend um, extracting them, of course. And of course, then going over to your desktop and uh, having them here. So you might be wondering which one is for the DSI where you downloaded. Well, that's where this website comes in handy, which will also be in the description. So a lot of stuff I gotta put in the description on this video. Um, so here it is. It's this website in case you wanna type it in instead of click on the link in the description. Um, but what you can do here is do control F and uh, I guess I can't do anything about that. And type in your game name. So for me, WarioWare snapped and um, it's right there. Bam. Make sure you got your correct region. Like there's Europe and USA for me. But um, I'm USA, so go all the way over to this far left column and you'll see these assortment of numbers. You're gonna go ahead and copy this and um, go over to TMDs. And rather than searching through all the TMDs for that number, you could just paste it. And um, it'll come up with that TMD. But um, I already took that TMD out. So um, unfortunately, it's not there anymore. So I actually accidentally cut it, I guess. I cut it and uh, I wish I didn't. I kind of wanted them all in an archive in case I lost it, but you know, whatever. I can always put it back in because I have that 7z file. So um, your TMD will come up right here. You're gonna go over here, um, back into CTR tool and um, put it in here and it'll still be a bunch of random numbers. Take note of the number after the decimal. So I'll just use a um, random TMD file, for example. Um, I'll use a random TMD file, for example, like this one. It's a dot zero file. So if it's a dot zero file, you're gonna go ahead and make sure that um, at the dot app, in the dot app in the CTR tool, it has eight zeros. I think that goes for the ending if it has dot zero or dot one on the TMD. If it has dot two five six like this one, then it has zero 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 one dot app, which is seven zeros and then a one. And um, if it has five twelve then it's zero, 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 two. And um, I don't know. I don't know what the rest are. Um, but those are the only three I know. So that uh, last one was seven zeros and then a two at the end. All right. So for me, uh, worry aware. Um, I was lucky enough to keep it the same. So uh, yeah. Uh, mine was a dot one at the end. So... What we're gonna do now is go ahead and hit control and uh, select both files. So let me just, because I can't do this with one hand. I'm only a boy. And um, put this in the DSI Word backup template. Put these both in the DSI Word backup template, which I don't think I have right now. Yep, I do, here it is. All right, I didn't have it in the content folder. All right, so you're gonna put these both in the content folder so that they're 000 app and title.tmd. So there you go. So you're about almost done. So let me go and show you guys this in a sec. Once I get my SD card for my DSi. Be right back. Here I have my DSi all up in, um, yeah. So if I power it on here, it's all nice and soft modded. I have Zelda Four Swords, Bomber and Blitz, Tetris Party Live, Petite Computer, Uno, and Sudoku. And uh, 
Hang on a sec. I'm gonna delete four swords. I like to consider TWL enough, like sort of like almost the free shop um, for the DSi, mainly because of how cool it is. So let me just go ahead and click on it and delete. I'm not using the stylus right now for some reason. I'm going to go and delete this. And, uh, <coughs> always take note, always take note of how many blocks you have, by the way, because if you install something that has more block, that takes up more blocks than you have available, you'll brick. I experienced that the hard way with my other DSi. Um, so you'll notice Four Swords isn't here anymore. Um, so let's go ahead and install. Um, so let me show you guys TW on F. So, um, you guys will probably, most likely, go into the Yugo Pwn, uh, thing, and, uh, you can read up on how to do that somewhere else, um, because this video is not here to explain that, but this is Sudoku Hacks, it'll load up some homebrew, um, I'm using DevKit Pro's homebrew menu, so it's a little different. Also, this isn't only my DSi SD card, this is also my Wii SD card. So I need to find my TWLNF installation. Here it is. And um, what you do is press X and find your game through all this, which I don't have currently on my SD card. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna take the SD card out. And put it so I'm using a 16 gig micro SD in a SanDisk adapter. So let me put this in my computer. All right, so it's in my computer. All right, just heard it connecting. Yeah, it says it has a problem. I don't, it doesn't actually have a problem. It just thinks it does. Uh, let's open a folder. And here we are. So, you can see all my files on this. It's a mess. Um, but what we're looking for is, I have a lot of files on here. A lot of games on here. A lot of DSiWare, like Tetris Party Live's got the same setup. It's weird. Um, we're gonna drag this WarioWare Snapped thing over to the SD card. That's pretty much all we gotta do on the computer right now. Uh, on the computer portion, the computer portion's done now, essentially. Um, all we have to do now is eject the SD card and take out the micro SD adapter. And that was professional. Take out the micro SD and, or regular SD card and put it in your DSi. So I'll go ahead and do that now. So we're ready to install WarriorWare Snapped. So this takes up about seven megabytes of space. So I believe I have enough because Legend of Zelda took up like 13 megs. So I think I'm good. All right. Once again, you'll probably be using Yugo Pwn rather than this. And um, that's okay. Both of them work. I just prefer Sudoku Hacks because it's much faster. And um, you too can also get Sudoku hacks once you do this method, because you can install Sudoku. Um, so this method seems like a pain, but um, it's it's really not that bad. Once you once you see me do it, you'll you'll know how to do it. But um, without watching this video, so as you can see, oh shoot, there we are, WarioWare Snap Directory content. Instead of clicking on the .app, you're going to click on the title.tmd. And ready? Watch this. And uh, it looks like I had to rename it to 0001.app. And it seems I'm an idiot, so I may have just given out false information. Okay, I will be right back. Alright guys, I'm back. Um, 
renamed it to 0001 or 0000001.app. Um, sorry for giving out false information. <laughs> um, but you'll have to connect it back to your computer to rename that. So let's go ahead and run the title.tmd again. And uh, wait for it to load up. So we can install it. So it's going to say install to NAND and click A to install. And uh, I already installed the ticket on, I already installed it on here. So it, I mean, I already installed it previously in the past on here. So it says ticket already exists, one over right. So um, for you, it probably won't say that. But um, this is pretty much one of the only way to like actually install DSiWare to your NAND today. Uh, Cause you know, DSi shop, rip. So it's going to say copy to NAND, and uh, soon it's going to be done. And it's going to say copy to NAND and verified. You're going to click select and A. That should shut off your DS, but since I have homebrew menu, it won't shut off. So I'm going to have to do it automatically. And uh, there we go. So it's going to boot up. And moment of truth, if you see an error has occurred after um, tapping this touchscreen, means you bricked and you're an idiot because you didn't follow the steps. Um, you'll only brick if you go over your NAND limit, by the way. It won't let you install something that's corrupted, I, won't be I don't believe. Because, yeah. So, um, press A. And, uh, there we go. You can see the blue icon down there. Navigate over there. And you have newly installed the SI or open it. And there we go, WarriorWare snapped. Just to show you it worked, I'll launch it up. And there it is. And it works. Look at that. It's a beauty. Um, but that's pretty much all for this video. Please like and subscribe. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye